right welcome back to another video on the channel guys and today i'm making it quick and simple just a quick breakdown of some of the trades we took last week because that has seen that seems to be what you guys want to see so getting straight into it this is an example on thursday this week we friday was not open the markets was closed it was good friday right so this was the last trading day of the week and we secured around 40.75 handles we didn't get final tp we got first tp and we secured profits along the way so let's do a little breakdown going into this thursday session so this is the new york am session we had a red folder news event at 10 a.m so going into this session i marked out this minor buy side level and i also marked out this minor sell side level as well so now i've marked out the buy side levels and sell side levels if you head on to say the 15 minute time frame you can see that we have a 15 minute bearish fair value gap above this buy side level which then we can look for it to sweep buy side tap into the 15 minute and then displace lower and we can target sell side or going into this session i was looking for sell side to get swept tap into this 15 minute bullish and then displace higher and then we can target this buy side liquidity so waiting for this red folder news at 10 a.m let's just replay the chart quickly people keep asking me Show us a screen record then of the signals group. Cool. Here you go. Here's some of the trades we've taken over the past few weeks. We're currently on a 10-week win streak. I'm not saying that we win every single trade, but by the end of each week, we're always closing out in a profit for 10 weeks in a row. As you can see, March 11th, scrolling down through, you can see, look, first TP smashed, final TP smashed as well. And that was a 68.5 handle gain. Already the first day, that was a Monday. Mondays usually have poor price action, but we're still pulling in 70 handles. Tuesday we took no trades going into Wednesday you can see the first TP was smashed easy gain stops were at break even risk free and then the final TP got smashed as well 53 handles so this week we're already up like 120 130 handles just easy easy gains and then we had poor price action on this trade we moved I believe our stops to break even yeah we lowered our risk and then we got stopped at a very small loss of 9.5 handles so consider that we just took a win of 70 handles and then we took a loss of 9.5 handles so we're still up massively on the week and then we took another trade during that week we were up 20 handles and then we set our stops to break even and we got stopped to break even on that one and then we took another trade this week we went long first tp was smashed we move our stops to break even and then the second tp got smashed as well so we had a 53 handle gain we got taken out we moved our stops into a profit we got taken out for a 53 handle gain i personally made 4.4k off that trade easy gains literally tp's getting hit left right and center when we take a loss we take small losses like we take small a small loss we risk like maximum 25 handles a trade we only go for anything of a one to two risk to reward or better we won't go for anything less than that so i'll leave the link below guys for the signals room if you're interested if you want to get in there and start making money and get funded and paid out like the rest of the members i literally show you proof all the time that the members are getting paid out and wait for 10 a.m you never take a trade before red folder news events i must make that clear to you guys we don't trade before red folder news we wait for it to come out and then we see what opportunity it gives us so prior to the red folder news event at 10 a.m you can see that buy side has been swept and we've also tapped into that 15 minute bearish which i mentioned just earlier so if you quickly mark that out on your chart buy side has been swept the displacement level would be here So price hasn't displaced yet. We've had the red folder news at 10 a.m. come out. So now we are looking to see if we get any opportunities going into the market. It's created a swing low, which it could displace through. And now it's created a swing high. So this level I marked out as a unicorn setup. So we look to see if this level gets swept again. So let's see if this level gets swept again. There you go. So it's a unicorn setup. We've swept buy side it's after the 10 a.m red folder news and then it's created another swing low here which i marked out and then it's also swept buy side minor buy side unicorn setup so let's see if we get a displacement so now price is displaced let's see if we get a fair value gap for our entry all right so we now have a fair value gap let's just mark out that it's displaced and then let's mark out this fair value gap Alright, so this is a textbook ICT sell. We've swept minor buy side, we've tapped into a 15 minute bearish. It's then swept a swing high, 
which is a unicorn setup and it's displaced through this previous swing low um it's left behind a fair value gap and then obviously we're going to target this sell side liquidity so price actually didn't even tap into this fair value gap we actually entered inside the signals room just outside this fair value gap we hit a market order outside of the gap we put our stops at the highs and take profit here so let's see and there you go so we entered inside of the signals room short there and then it was a very tight stop of only 12.5 handles and then we ran our final tp which gives us 65 handles at the resting opposing liquidity and we ran our first tp at 25 handles which was at this swing low here so this is our first tp and let's see how this trade plays out there you go so the first tp was hit what we did immediately was close out 60 to 70 percent of our position and move our stops to break even so it's a risk-free trade and then after our first TP, price continued down and we ended up closing out another 10 to 15 percent of our position. So we only had a remaining 15 to 15 to 20 percent left of our position size and our stops were at break even. Price then makes a swing high and we move our stops down to this swing high. So our stops are now in a 26 handle profit. Around a 25 handle profit our stops are in and we moved our stop to this level here. This trade is a clear example. I'm not cherry picking trades. I'm showing you what we actually took and this is one of the trades we took this week. So we moved our stops to this previous swing high waiting for sell side liquidity to get taken out and then I'll show you what happened. And there you go. So price then came back up to our stop at the previous swing high taking us out uh, the remaining of our position at a 25 handle profit and then we secured the majority of our gains around this level here which was a 40.75 handles around this level here uh, so yeah it was a clean thursday afternoon session to be honest uh, there was also a really nice last hour macro on thursday which we didn't actually end up taking because if you take a win in the morning session then i don't usually tend to trade the afternoon now i'm going to show you one more example of one of the trades we took this week so let's get into that real quick all right guys so here's the second example of one of the trades we took this week inside of the signals room so this is going into the new york am session we mostly trade the new york am session sometimes we trade the new york afternoon session if we get a sloppy am session then you can expect like a decent afternoon um but we usually trade the am macro either 9 50 10 10 that's the first main am macro and the second macro is from 10 50 to 11 10 so if, if 9 50 10 10 offers you poor price action you can expect 10 50 11 10 to produce something which is worthwhile so going into this AM session i marked out this minor sell side liquidity and i marked out this minor buy side liquidity as well yeah so going into this am session i had a bearish bias because we had already swept these london highs and then displaced low on a 15 minute time frame and also we were in a 15 minute bearish so i'm looking for this minor buy side level here in the new york am session to get swept and then displaced lower so let's see what we get all right so there you go so buy side has now been swept so let's mark that on our chart also i must mention apologies for the shit audio i'm still working on setting up the mic as i literally just purchased a new mic for the channel i'm still working on setting it up i don't even know how to use it so apologies for the poor quality on this video and then you could have entered off this bearish fair value gap however i waited for a clearer setup say a unicorn model so as you can see there is a displacement level here which you look for price to displace through and then it's created a short term swing high which is now swept above and this is the unicorn setup which we look for it's when it sweeps buy side and then sweeps buy side again and then this is the level we're going to look for a displacement through and then as you can see on the 15 minute time frame it's still respecting that 15 minute bearish which is another confluence as a good opportunity for shorts and then we look for price to displace through this level after sweeping buy side for the second time there you go so now we've got a displacement and a fair value gap so this is a textbook ict setup which we'd look to go short off We ran our first TP at 25 handles and then we was going to set our stop at break even. But before I could even put it into, into the chat to set the stops at break even, it literally ran to our final take profit within a, about 30 seconds to a minute. So it's crazy trade. First TP was smashed. And then, yeah, before I could even tell the signals room to set the stops at break even, just like that, just like that, final TP got hit.
It's crazy games. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see in the next video, and I'll make sure it's included. Also, the A to Z mentorship course, which I'm making at the moment, is highly requested by all of you guys, and I am working on it, but I'm not trying to slap up some sloppy shit course and then just send it out to the group, you know? And that's not that's not who I am. I'm trying to make the best of the best. So it's going to take me a couple of weeks or even a couple of months. And then once it's actually out, it's going to be top quality. And it's going to be like the ICT 2022 mentorship, but without all, all of the ICT chat and shit and all of the waffle which he goes on about. He literally chats about like, say his dog died or something. It's not even part of the mentorship, but he just chats about that anyway. That's who he is. But yeah, it's going to be a full A to Z course, which is everything you need to know all in one mentorship by me. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. I just did my 39, gotta change my sheet. Should be rubbing on my body, sucking till my knees get weak.